All right, good afternoon, everyone. It is a beautiful day here today. And even more beautiful because on that bench, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there is a nut that is finally threaded on that crankshaft. Guys, I got it fixed and finally ready to finish assembling this engine and getting it back in that ski. If uh, you're just now tuning in, three weeks ago, I damaged the threads on that crankshaft. Didn't realize it until I got to the point was putting the flywheel on and everything just stopped because I didn't know how to fix it. I tried calling around looking for a machine shop. I tried an automotive repair place, took it to them no one could help me much like the story of trying to find somebody to fix two-stroke engines around here anyway for three weeks it's been a trial and error but now it is done and I can finally move on as I said so we're about to jump right on that just real quick here catch you up where I'm at with this GTX so I've just recently, I drained all the fuel out of it. I drained what little oil, as you can see, I've got the canister here on the side. The reason I did that, I just wanted to check everything with the amount of dirt and really oil that was all in that hole. I just wonder if I've got an issue here. I could see anything with the eye, but we'll know soon enough when I put some oil back into that thing, if it's um, leaking, but I cleaned it up really well so that I would be able to easily spot if there's oil coming out. And same thing, I cleaned the hole real good. Don't know how well you can see in there, but I cleaned that as well because when I get the engine back in here, uh, I'll know if there is uh, oil in the bottom of this hole that's gonna be from uh, my rebuild and not what was there previously. But anyway, so I drained the gas just real quick. Guys, this real cheap Harbor Freight tool works perfect. I don't know what I paid for it. Got it a couple of years ago before I even started working on jet skis. But it's perfect. And the thing I do like about this particular ski is you can take that glove box out. As you can see, gives you direct access to the tank right there. And it also made it so much easier for me to change out the fuel lines. So I love the fact that I can remove this little glove box and have clear access to the fuel lines and then to uh, drain the fuel tank. So things to do, guys, if you get an old ski, I would not rebuild those carbs and leave your old gray tempo lines in and your old fuel. Go ahead and drain it. And uh, the oil, I don't think that i did that like i said just to clean everything up so it make it easier to check for an oil leak later that's the only reason i did that but uh changing your fuel lines draining your fuel when you get an old ski it's been sitting up for years um, just make sure you do that so you don't gum up the carbs that maybe you just rebuilt all right let's get over here to the bench step around i've got trickle chargers on my batteries here let me kind of move them out of the way. All right, check it out. Finally, there is a nut that will feed onto this thing. And I'm being ginger with it because I'm, with the work that I've done on this, these outer threads are weaker, a little, you know, compromised because of the metal that's been shaved and removed um i've worked a little bit since i've done this but there were shavings all here around here so i'm pretty much keeping the nut on here until i get ready to get that flywheel back on to kind of protect these outer two anyway so let me back up back to the first video the first thing i bought was this hex die so this is an 18 mil 1.5. Uh, when I took this to the, the auto shop, they're the ones that um, told me what size this was and what my thread pitch was. So I purchased this. Now it's got a tapered 
um, here if you can pick that up maybe you can't to fit over this but guys this doesn't work at least in my case because I could not get it to thread on to begin with so if the damage to your, your threads are in the middle or toward the back this is definitely the tool and would work the problem as I mentioned is I could not even get it to thread on there to get it started um, now I'll take that back I did get it to bite but I could not keep it straight um, so if I would really torqued on it cranked on it I would have damaged the other threads cross threaded them so good tool but not so much if you can't even get it started on the bolt so the next thing the idea came from the comment section I had forgotten somebody mentioned hey man try these uh, diamond files well I would forgotten that I'd purchased some a little over a year ago when I was deburring a port in the uh, some cylinder jugs so but these really didn't work for me slow and go I knew there had to be a better way than these so that I didn't really work long on those uh, at all so as I said I continued to call around trying to find someone that could help and I talked to a guy at another auto shop who told me that what I needed was this which is a thread file now I didn't know these existed probably many of you did uh, I'm learning stuff all the time but guys this is a great tool however it didn't quite fix my threads um, it didn't carry it all the way out to the end but anyway let me back up here so I have here's mine the 1.5 each one uh, side has a different thread the advantage to this and what I liked there's the 1.5 is when you get it onto your threads it fits right into your thread pattern and it lines it up basically for you so you're not going to damage your other threads while fixing the others in fact it just helps you keep it aligned great tool I think the problem for me here is I bought the cheapest one, I got what I paid for, and I think I wore the teeth down working on this thing. And so the impact, it just didn't, by the time I got it all the way out to the outer edges, I think I'd worn it down. But this tool, guys, is a great tool for cleaning bolts. It's got Loctite or even chasing threads. Um, this will clean those bolts up really quick great tool but like i said it did not completely fix it i could get the after using the thread file i could get the nut on there and it would thread and stop and i couldn't get it any further and so i continued looking and discovered the tool that actually fixed this thing this is a universal thread repair tool so the handle down here spins it adjusts you adjust the teeth sort of looks like uh, snake fangs here anyway this is actually a little too big not bolt wise this one that i bought here actually fits a 17 mil up to a 30 mil bolt but you can see the teeth when you fit it over it and tighten it down were too wide so I couldn't get both teeth aligned in the threads but I was desperate at this point so I just tightened it down to the one on the inside where my thumb is and you get it in thread and you go counterclockwise and you just rotate it around and it just carries itself out and right off to the the end of the uh, bolt there immediately when i finished that guys it, it went right on so this is the tool i'm gonna get a smaller one this is large like i said 18 mil to like a 30 mil they make them all different sizes to whatever you need but this would have been the one and only tool that i would have needed to fix the threads on here so i hope this 
is somewhat useful and helpful to you if you end up with um, damaged threads. Um, as I said, going forward, uh, I am ready and prepared now with this tool to tackle it. So I'm just excited now I can finally move on, finish this uh, engine reassembly and get it back into the ski. Uh, the reason I've got the paper towel in here is I was removing the, the old gasket, got to wait for it to come in the mail. But removing the gasket, I didn't want it to get in the bearings. So um, that's all I've got in there it's just to keep it out. The shavings from the, the old gasket from getting in the bearings. So. All right, that is it, guys. I appreciate you joining me as always. And the next video is probably going to be getting this ski, getting this engine back in the hole of this ski behind me. So, all right, as always, I appreciate you joining me. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.